Hello everybody, today I'm gonna to teach you how to actually make your own timer in seconds in this Visual Studio through simple code. I'm gonna start off by clicking New Project and under the Visual C Sharp section where it says Windows, we're gonna to go to the first option, Windows Form Application, and actually type in whatever you want, but I'm gonna type in Seconds Tutorial for my program name. After this pulls up, it's going to pull up the form, which will be the output of whatever we're trying to make, in this case, seconds. And we'll start off by pulling up the toolbox, which will be Control-Alt-X. And in the toolbox, it gives you whatever you need, buttons, checkboxes, whatever. But in this video, we need a label, enter, and a timer. And hit that enter. Okay, once we have these pulled up, we'll drag this where we want it to be. I'll put it right in the middle for you guys. And we can right click this and then go to properties and scroll on down where it says text. And in these bold letters, this will be what it looks like. And we can just put seconds here. Okay. And then for the timer, same thing, right click properties. And right here, the name, this will be actually what we see in our code. There won't be a display of the timer. This will just be what's pulled up when we're writing what we need to write in the code. I'll just put TMR seconds. And then we're going to need to enable it. And for seconds, the interval needs to be set to 600. Okay. And then right here for seconds, same thing that we did with TMR seconds. For the name and the code for this label, we're going to we can just name it LBL for label seconds. This is also what we'll put in the code. We'll go to view code, and you can see these templates are already preset into Visual Studio. You don't have to worry about these, these are just coming, they just come in there for you, already preset. And we'll go back to the design view and actually double click on the timer. And before we go and enter in what we need to right here for the timer, we need to set our, our local variable for the seconds. We go to integer, int for short, and put in our variable seconds. And we want this to equal zero at first, so we can start at zero. Now if we click here to start coding the timer seconds, we just have to put seconds plus plus. Now this right here will increment it by one, so the plus plus just means plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. So it goes one, two, three, four, and just counts regular. And then for the label that we named earlier, label seconds, we'll make this dot text and set this equal to what we want it to be, seconds, and then we're actually going to do something called concatenation, which will be is what the plus is there for. We're going to add the seconds there. That way it can count by one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way till we want to stop the application. Now it's as simple as that. All we got to do is click start. And there it is. It's a countdown. Or count up, I guess. Go to form. And if you want to mess around with the seconds, you can make it whatever color you want here in four color. I, don't know, I can make it blue, change the size, the font, whatever you want to do. But yeah, hope you guys learned something new. Uh, thanks for watching.